Suppose we have installed a production version of the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge and created a Progress Application Server for OpenEdge instance called PassOE1. Now we want to deploy both a classic web speed application and a new web handler web speed application to PassOE1. Assume that we configure the PassOE1 instance to connect to the Sports 2000 database. In a production instance, all application transports are disabled by default for security reasons. Before we deploy the web speed applications to pass OE1, we have to enable the web transport in pass OE1. Application transports are defined in an instance's openedge.properties file in the instance's conf directory. As you can see, the web transport is disabled. First, let's enable the web transport. In ProENV, we type the oeprop command to enable the web transport and then press enter. We are now ready to deploy our application. First, we will deploy a classic web speed application to pass OE1. Deploying a classic web speed application to a progress application server for OpenEdge instance is a four step process that involves moving the application static files to the instance's web speed folder moving the application's R code files to the instance's ProPath, ensuring that the instance is compatible with a classic web speed application, and finally restarting the instance. In this example, the web speed application that we want to deploy does not use any static files. We'll perform the remaining three steps next. First, we copy the application's R code to the instance's ProPath. Then we set the instance's default handler property in the openedge.properties file to openedge.web.compatibilityHandler. Next, we start the instance. Now we will deploy a new web handler web speed application to the same instance. Deploying a new web handler web speed application involves placing the application's R code in the instance's ProPath and adding application handlers. First, we copy the application's R code to the instance's ProPath. Next, we have to add handlers to the openedge.properties file. A handler defines a URL that maps to a specific class that you deploy as part of your application. Each class can have more than one handler. Your application developer should give you a list of the handlers to add to the openedge.properties file in a specific sequence. The sequence is important, so ensure that you add the handlers in the order provided. In this case, there is only one handler. We run the oeprop command to add the handler to the openedge.properties file. Now we restart our instance, pass oe1 so that the deployment takes effect. Next, we will test our deployment. First, we test a classic web speed application. When the classic application is invoked, it fetches customer details from the connected Sports 2000 database. Here, we invoke the application using a web browser. As you can see, the details are returned. Next, we test the new web speed web handler application. Here we use a web browser to retrieve details of customer 1. Details for customer 1 are returned. We have now seen how to deploy web speed applications to a Progress Application Server for OpenEdge production instance. To learn more about Progress Application Server for OpenEdge administration, take the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge administration course.